Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be doing an interior critique of the 2011 Ford F-150 Platinum Edition. This one does have the EcoBoost engine, so, I mean, that doesn't really affect the interior. But, um, so yeah, go ahead and start it up. When you start it, it does the Ford Built Tough deal. Um, I guess... The steering wheel is power tilting and power telescoping. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead and start with the uh, the dashboard, or the top of the dash, I guess. Over here, this is hard plastic material, but it, it's not scratchy. It has a actual, it almost looks like leather. I mean, you can tell it's not, but it looks good. Up here, you get this um, vinyl type material. Over on top of the instrument cluster um, it's not padded or anything it's not padded at all still hard but you still get that vinyl um, coming around back over here this is hard touch again all hard plastics over here this is like a little tray to put your cell phone or whatever um, there's a speaker up there of course that's hard touch and all the way across back over here is hard touch as well um, the steering wheel, it is leather wrapped, and then you also have a wood portion here. It's not heated though, um, unlike the Yukon. That's one thing I do like about the Yukon is how the steering wheel is heated. I, um, I think that's good. I really like these gauges. I mean, they're the needles should be a little bit smaller, but um, they they work. Over here, you have your automatic headlights and pull out for fog lights. Your turn signals. Whoops! Hit the wipers. Um, like a anyway, intermittent wipers. They are automatic. But um, when you do the turn signal, it does stay. It goes back to where it is, and then just bump it again to turn it off, or just bump it down once for the three lane or the three blink lane change. Then this controls your trip computer and all that up here. Um, yeah. Coming down here. You've got this, um, I believe this is, I'm not sure if this is aluminum or plastic, but it's it's hard touch, whatever it is. Air vents, four-wheel drive control. Um, here you've got your navigation system and all that stuff with the, it does have the Microsoft Sync. You've got your aux jack and a USB thumb drive down there. Um, got this piano black, well it's not really piano black, it's a, black wood. I don't I don't know if you can I think you can kind of see the wood grain in there. Um Whoa. Sorry, this is a shaky video. Um you've got your trailer brake control, but um yeah, this is hard touch. So is this and around the instrument cluster, that's hard touch as well. Um down here, you've got your 6-speed electronically controlled automatic transmission put it in reverse. You do get a reverse backup camera. Um, it's my brother playing basketball. And then you have a manual shift mode operated by the um, toggle switch right here. And then you've got your low gear selection. You get one, two, and then you get your manual. Then you just put it back in park and the backup camera goes away. Um... My dad was just getting a call. Hmm. Um, we'll move that. Just go back. We'll just go to map. Um, over here, you've got a power outlet. You've got another power outlet down here. Automatic climate control, audio controls, then your display controls right here. Um, over here, this is hard touch as well. It's pretty flimsy too. I don't know if you can tell, but it is. Um, go to the glove box. It is a tiny, tiny, tiny glove box, and it's the lid's not damped at all, so it's just gonna drop right down onto your knees. Um, cup holders. This around here, you've got more of that dark wood trim. Um, it's not wood; it's plastic. Um, 
the interior seems to fit together pretty well and there's not really anything I can pull apart. Uh, top of the armrest or console. Dad's got all his stuff in there. Um, it is wrapped in leather. I believe this is leather. It's the brown leather instead of the black like on the steering wheel. And I'm glad they did that. It is padded. I mean it's not incredibly padded but it it gives you a little bit of comfort. Um, let's see, we'll go to the door panel now. Um, this is my Tahoe over there. Top of the door panel, hard touch, hard plastic. Not, not a fan of that, but it looks okay. Um, down here, you've got more of that dark wood finish. Um, got your door handle, power folding mirrors. Um, armrest, you do get this padded vinyl, um, I know that's part of the platinum package upgrade, as you get this, it's no longer hard plastic, or hard rubber, it's, um, padded vinyl here, got your door handle, that's hard touch, um, power door locks, power windows, the front two are automatic up and down, and then power window locks, um, and down here you've got storage pocket all this is hard touch hard plastics same thing for here basically everything on the door panel is hard touch except for the armrest um, hmm. I guess that's pretty much it for the front we'll go around to the back seat sorry it's my keys clicking um, see for the door panel back here same materials follow through as the front hard touch hard plastics up here and then down here the armrest is no longer padded in the back seat it becomes hard rubber again it's a rubberized plastic is basically what it is so not really much comfort there yeah, it's pretty uncomfortable. I don't usually rest my arm on that. Um, heated rear seats, which are nice. I do, I do like those. Power window control, door handle. Down here, hard, hard plastics again. Same goes for down here. It's not real. There's a little bit of a sharp edge. It's not really going to cut you though, like in some cars. Um, the back seat, I had the front seat adjusted to where I would normally drive. And yes, I'm wearing socks, but there is a huge amount of leg room in this truck. That's one thing I do like. Um, the seats are not very comfortable. They sit too, sh too um, too upright, and they don't come out to give you enough thigh support. Not a problem. Listen, uh, happy New Year to you and your family. Hope you have a good, safe New Year. Hold on. And uh, we'll talk to you uh, next year, man. And then, sorry, I had to put it back on privacy mode because somehow it got off that. You've got cup holders back here. Um, more of the hard aluminum slash plastic back here. I think it might be aluminum because it's pretty cold. Um, down here, you've got your rear air vents. These do actually work. They don't just cough on you every once in a while. But it's all hard touch down here, hard touch. Down underneath here, hard plastics. Um... Again, back to the back seat, you do get a uh, armrest, center folding armrest. Um, do get cup holders back here. Pretty flimsy, but yeah. Um, the back seats do fold up to add for extra cargo space, and that's that's either the sub or the amp. I'm not sure. Um, and then just pull that handle, and it folds right back down. Um, and just lift it back up when you want to fold it back up. Um, hmm, that's pretty much it. So I guess we'll rev it a little bit real fast. I don't want to rev it too much. I guess I'll show you under the hood too.
just lift up here and there's a latch push it to the right hold on I have to do this with my right hand not my left and then lift up and there's the eco boost 3.5 liter v6 with two turbochargers I believe those are located down here I think one of them's right there and the other one's right there um, really good engine really powerful um, so yeah that's pretty much it under here that was loud go ahead and rev it real quick. I won't be able to do exhaust because I don't have a second camera and I don't know how to merge videos together. But anyway. Plenty of turbo whistle in there. But yeah, that's pretty much it. So this has been an interior critique of the 2011 Ford F-150 Platinum Edition. Hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching.